I mean, I said I was gonna go play some Bug Hunter, so. So, you were trying to impress me with your terrible shooting? Seriously? Why do you know so much about guns? Because I'm from America. Cut it. Cut! Cutting! Okay, reset back to one. Pitcher's next. We are in the warehouse district of downtown Minneapolis. Uh, we are shooting some uh, additional scenes for Stuck Between Stations. Uh, right now, fellas are setting up a dolly shot. Who doesn't want to make a feature film? This is kind of a dream come true. My name is Brady Kiernan. I am an independent filmmaker. Uh, in Minneapolis, St. Paul. I also work as a line producer and a production manager for commercial production. Hey, guess who I ran into tonight? No, Becky Fine. Yeah, with the buckskin jacket, with the fringe. But it's like I couldn't even tell if it was her because she was with a couple real... Oh, hey, let me call you back later, or tomorrow, or whatever. Our film is called Stuck Between Stations. It's about a soldier who's home from war on bereavement leave, who meets a girl that he had a crush on in high school and junior high, and they spend this one magical, romantic night together touring the late night empty streets of Minneapolis. How come I haven't seen you in like 10 years? I'm just in town for a couple of days. My dad died. Man, I'm so sorry. I mean, thanks, but it's okay. I got excited about film uh, when I was very young. Our father bought a home video camera, and my brothers Spence, Andy, and Pat and I would make music videos and movies. And then when I got to high school and college, started taking classes in film. And that's when I started getting excited and thinking, like, I could maybe do this as a career. When did you guys run out of dialogue? Over there? Uh -huh. I got no I got no headset for this first right stuff. That, right about the bench, just before the bench. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That actually times out perfectly then. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. This is my feature film directorial debut. I have made some music videos and some short form documentary stuff. We did a series of videos for POS where we did five music videos in five days for his album Never Better. a short documentary for Doom Tree, but this would be the, pretty much the biggest thing I've ever done. So you do this a lot? What? Take girls around the back of your BMX. It worked like a charm when I was 13. <laughs> I think our goal in making this film was to tell just a good love story. Hey, Casper. Oh. We're just gonna be like friends tonight. I'm not gonna kiss or anything. Who says I even wanna kiss you? Our two lead actors, Sam Rosen and Zoe Lister Jones, have a wonderful chemistry. They've been friends for a while, and uh, we're really able to get like, real moments of two people having fun. You think you can handle this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I can. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Defense wins championships. Defense wins championships. I like working on independent films that feel uh, unique and um, like they're telling a new story. And um, Brady seemed like a really cool guy, you know, silent genius. So, yeah, it's been great. It's been everything that I hoped it would be times 10. You know what I mean? Just how impressive he and all the crew have been, the set that, you know, he runs and the environment that he creates. So what was the nest? What, you don't know the turkey's nest? Uh-uh. Well, bar, me and this dude used to work at over behind campus. Best job I've ever had. And yet you still managed to get yourself fired. Josh Hartnett plays a supporting role in our film. Through our network of friends, we were able to get him the script. We kind of presented it to him as 
you know, here's a role that you don't get necessarily play all the time. And he got excited about participating. This dude got caught doing the drugs at work. No, false. I never got caught doing drugs at work. I showed up for work high that one time. That's it. He brought a level of physicality to the character, like brought it to life with little effort. Rebecca, I need to talk to you. Where is it, David? She's home. I couldn't get it. She's home. She's home. That's weird, because that's also your home, so. I'm not ready to face her yet, OK? I don't think we met. I'm David. Are you a friend of hers? Yeah, that's my new boyfriend. We're running away to join the circus together. What do you think? This is some kind of joke? Michael Imperioli also plays a supporting role in our film. He was Christopher in The Sopranos. He was also in the movie Goodfellas. Once his name came up in conversation of that particular role, we all got very excited about the possibility of him being that, because you don't get to see him play like a sleazy college professor. He was able to create a couple of very real moments of fireworks. It was pretty exciting to watch. Why do you hang out with those guys? I don't really. But they're your friends? No, not really. You said they were. Yeah, this film is very deeply related to Minneapolis. Uh, the writers, Nat Bennett and Sam Rosen, are both from here. And this movie is kind of like a love letter to the culture that I grew up around, which is full of art and all deeply rooted in this city and the different neighborhoods of the city. And I feel like there's a whole lot more that we'll continue to, to find ways to show, but this is a really good like beginner's course in Minneapolis. One influence as we were kind of plotting out the aesthetic and look of the film uh, is actually the De Stiel movement from the turn of the last century. We knew that we were going to do a split screen motif because this is a movie about two people and we wanted to try and have them on screen as much as possible. That influenced a lot of our choices for lighting, for wardrobe, for composition, and hopefully that type of stuff is subconscious. What's important to me is that this story comes across and the relationship of the two people. I feel like that's, that pace is all right. I mean, this is so wide that like, you know, we're getting, this is basically like we're getting wild lines of this dialogue to go along with the close coverage that we're gonna do. I would say my style as a director is very reminiscent of, I guess the people that I admire, a filmmaker named Sidney Lumet who made Network, Dog Day Afternoon, 12 Angry Men. The most important thing for me when it comes to any kind of conversation about me as an artist is the multitude of people that have supported and collaborated with me. I'm attracted to filmmaking because it is a collaborative art form. Yeah, cut. That's a cut! You want to do this again or you want to do it? I'm happy with it. Bo, how you feel? Okay, moving on. We're going to cross the street. The Minneapolis film scene is a wonderful scene, but we haven't had a breakout indie success that helps independent filmmaking thrive here. I feel like there are still a lot of unique landscapes and stories to tell here. My hope is that we can elevate our film scene to something that's recognized nationwide, worldwide. I'm just hoping to make, make movies for the rest of my life and hopefully live here. I ask you a question. Why did you hang out with me tonight? Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.